Whoa, how y'all doing out there? This is your man, Eco B, Black Effect. You already know what it is. Hit that like and subscribe button. Donate to the Cash App and PayPal if you so see fit. All right, let me get into this. This is an important message. You know, a very powerful message, a message that, you know, everyone needs to hear. Um, let me get into it. Um, history always repeats itself because usually we never get to the bottom of that problem to change it so it won't repeat itself we never get we never actually stomp the head of the snake of that problem so it constantly repeats itself like we put a band-aid on it instead of stomp instead of actually eradicating the problem and history really is um really is told by the winners you know, a lot of history has been removed and you've, you're seeing that now that people don't really care about history when it comes to what they want. You know, when it comes to things that people want, they don't care about um, what they don't care about your logic. They don't care about history. They don't care about what what um, this expert says at the end of the day. When it comes to if this person has if these people have power and they want to push a certain thing and agenda, they will push that, you know, and they'll do whatever they have to do. They'll do whatever they have to do to push that agenda. You know, whether that mean distorting your our our history, whether that mean removing another um another culture's history. Whether that means just um, destroying the history completely, like you have, you know, people wonder why you don't see a lot of things from the uh, from people of the Bible and things like that. Well, you actually need to do your research, read your history. You had groups during the cru during these wars and crusades and groups who hated Christians and who hated God. These were pagan worshipers they took these artifacts and then some groups were also groups who knew that it was power in the very uh artifacts of the people of god they were taking artifacts of like of the prophets and things like that and using them they still have them to this day it's it's um places like in germany and and things like that and look at, and look in these foreign countries that's not israel you know what i'm saying that um that have a lot of these foreign uh artifacts of god they have them buried deep you know in 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 they uh um uh, libraries under you know underground things like that yes this is you need to do your research man but look just like with black Ben's history our history was removed from us, from the American black man has, his history starts here, you know, from his knowledge. Like, even when in school, when you taught about black history, it pretty much started from, like, Martin Luther King and, and, and civil rights, and that's it. Like, no, that's not all of our history. Are you nuts? Slavery, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all you were given. So that's what I mean. But look at and that look at the mental toll that that's taken on black people. It's been it's been very detrimental. But see, right now we need to stomp the head of that snake, you know, and and so that history will not repeat itself. So black men will never, ever be looked at as inferior or starting from slavery or, no, or none of that foolishness. You know what I'm saying? We need to, so for, if you, all of these, these, um, Caucasians who are here marching and doing the same thing, you know, uh, with black folks protesting, what y'all need to forget all that, we don't need all that marching and getting on your knees, man. We need y'all to start doing a few things, you know, doing like that little girl, how she was teaching her parents, you know, just teach your parents, you know what I'm saying? Make sure, you know, they understand, you know, that they get off their bigoted way of thinking because it's foolish. It's not true. You know, but we definitely need um, need to bring to the forefront that the black man is the progenitor of all of the races, not the other way around. So it can be no white supremacy. How can you be supreme to something that you come from? 
It's no knock. This is just God's doing. It's his or he's ordained this. You can't, you know, and no, it's no makes no one no better because we are human. It's just we were the ones who presented, who uh, gave birth to all of these races. So how, so no one can definitely say that the black man is on the bottom rung or the black woman is on the bottom. No, these are the, mo the mother and fathers of the earth. You know, now that gives to me, if you ask me, that gives them greater responsibility, you know, but we've totally forgot that, you know, we forgot not, we've abandoned our true history. Like I said, you definitely didn't get that from, at least I come, you got to come in the white man for giving you your book back this, you could say what you want, you know, but you're flat out lying. If you say this is a white man's book, did white man write this book? No. This book came all the way from from the Middle East, from you know, from a um, from small villages um, in Jerusalem and and Israel and things like that. Did you know where no white men lived at the time? You know what I'm saying. Everybody in this book, dark skinned people. So you can't the white you didn't have this book in Africa. You understand me? You abandoned it. You know, the black black people are, have, for, now once again, they, they are haughty people. They've forgotten their history. They've forgotten their first love, which is God, the most high. So the white man picked this up. Jesus Christ died so he could be grafted into this family of books. Sorry, ISUPK. Sorry, man. This is in here. It is written. You know, so that he's a Gentile. They can be grafted in. God didn't say, you know, that I'm excluded. That everybody can get, you know, is that believe in me. Jesus Christ died for everybody who believe in me. But the white man gotta gotta be excluded, and the white woman gotta be excluded. You are, you 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 you're not thinking, man. You're not being you're not being honest. You know, so the, he got this book, you know, and he used it. Yeah, he used the stuff in here that start slavery didn't start with the white man. Okay, so he but he used this book. You know what I'm saying? To control, you know, uh, a group of people. You could do that. You could definitely, this is a powerful tool, man. You could use it for control. But what unbeknownst to him, the spirit of what he was trying to use for bad, God was using for good. And the spirit that was within this book, you know, the Holy Spirit started releasing what was in the black man and allowing him to see who he truly was. Yes, they, why do you, the Negroes adopted that. Negro spirituals, they were singing that stuff, you know, uh, to give them, they, they empowered themselves with that. And they were also um, telling, giving directions of revolts and things like that within those Negro spirituals. But they got to the point of knowing their value and they were willing to die. Willing to die because they knew it was something greater later. They knew that they finally unlocked their humanity. They learned how to read through this. The Holy Spirit started working within them. So this book came right back to us. That's true history. But we get a lot of regurgitated BS you know, and, and we just, uh, some people just don't care if it don't fit their narrative. So imagine a group of people who hates another group of people. They're going to totally remove anything good of their history. You know, it only makes sense. Because now, but see... This is how the the people of the Bible operated. You had see God knew how these how the wicked operates. This is why God told David and informed the men in the Bible to e totally eradicate. And I'm not saying that you should do that now, but I'm just saying this is you know in biblical times God told him to. Now we have to do that spiritually. Now we have to do that with our words and and um. And, and however we need to do it, you know, but we have to totally stop the um, uh, false narratives and things like that. But God was telling the men in the Bible to totally eradicate these wicked nations who was uh, pagan, sacrificing kids, putting babies in in a, in, in a hot furnace, like putting them in an the oven. You know what I'm saying? Sacrificing them to, 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 to demons and things like that. God told the men in the Bible to totally eradicate them, you know, stomp the head out so of the snake so it will never rise again. We hadn't done that with racism. 
we need to actually do now if you want to you know forget all that crying on your you know to 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 people and blaming the cops and all that we need to really pinpoint those who are racist and shame and shun them you know what i'm saying if that's the case now you got you got people who are to me now this is just my this is just me you can have a different opinion you to me it's a difference between racist and white supremacist. You can you free to practice white supremacy like in 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 um uh, in your microcosm within your house like you know what I'm saying you can you can understand well I won't say white let me say you can white love or, or whatever white power you not, not white supremacy because no one is better than anyone i just said that we the progenitors of the races but we don't consider ourselves better than anyone so no <clears throat> but you free to 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 love your race man and you know and practice white power or whatever believe in that in your um in your household man because you can you can uh want to preserve your culture and if you don't want to other right you know you want to preserve your 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 culture your your genetics white um skin or whatever that's that's totally fine with me i don't care you understand but at the end of the day bro it's hard like it's that's pretty getting to be pretty hard now because you know your daughter and 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 she 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 she, she loving the, the crew she loving the brothers you know, and the brothers got love for the, for her. So she's really bridging the gap. And I'm going to do a video on that next. But, yeah, so you got to, you know, but if you want to do that, like, it's a lot. I got a lot of love for uh, and some homeboys. You know, I'm from, I'm from the South, man. I'm from Texas, Dallas. You know, I got some, I know some country country boys, man, some old country boys. You know, like Paul Wall, you, you feel me? Like, I know some, and, and some cats like Bubble Sports like that, you know, who who they got a culture and they want to preserve that, like, you know, they, you know, and, and they don't hate black people, you know, they just really, some of them really just don't understand them, some of them, you know, gotta, need to be more, some of them need to be more informed, mm-hmm, and, um, and that's about it, you know what I'm saying, but for the most part, like I said, I'm I'm cool with that. Like you want to be, it, the world will be boring without variety. God is tribal. He believes in these preserving these things. You know what I'm saying? And it's nothing wrong with that. It, it, having some honor and integrity about you know about something like that. But see, the thing about it is, is white people have just been overt with it, and and the slavery and the and and the, and the lying to a group of people trying to tell them that they inhuman. All of that's coming back to roost. You know, all they reaping what they sow. Every that you have to like as a white, it's time. To, and you know, you know how you how, forget all the marching as a Caucasian. Uh, what you can do is just pay black people reparations. Don't cash out. No, me ain't talking about all that. You know, no black, no random black person. You ain't got no, and don't be just giving it up to no goofy. You know, who gonna go buy some drugs and do nothing with it? Nah, it's some pro like you got to understand how generational wealth works. Mental illness that came from this racism and modern day slavery up until the time Barack Obama got in office, it was prominent black folks, smart black young black men who didn't think that, who only believed that they can go here in America when they can act, you know, when they could, they thought it was a glass ceiling that they that they met, you know, before this man became president. It was still and racism was still going on. So, what you can do is pay black people their reparations, man. Just give them what you know. Give them, uh, you know, uh, what you owe them. Like, give them uh, the ability to to do for themselves. You know, don't sit here and be like, oh, well, you niggas gonna burn it and and blow it and and all this. No, it ain't up to you to care about what they do with it. Just have faith in God. You know that you're doing a good thing. You know, and and honestly, for real, from forward thinking, prominent black people, that would mend. That would be the gesture, the public gesture, because it has you public, you publicly humiliated black people, publicly lied to them. That would be the public gesture, and you also used them for labor. You know what I'm saying? To build and, and walked off with the wealth, and said, "Pull yourself up on your own bootstraps." Lied to them, to mentally bombarded them with uh, terror, then still terrorized them after the fact. You owe them this.
You know, <laughs> now I'm not, no one's saying it, it should be a, you know, some astronomical amount or, you know, and it's trying to take all the wealth in it. No, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, heck no. Like, I'm just saying, you know, it should be a plan implemented and white people should be cool with that. You know, they should definitely want that. You know, and that will be being on the, that would stomp the head of this racism snake. You know, that would be the gesture that heals the nation. And then we would all just be able to move forward because now also that, because what's going to happen anyway, you know, with this, with this COVID bull crap that happened, people losing their business, you're going to see a lot of white people be having to be relegated to living with uh, black people, white flight. That stuff not going to exist so much so in the coming future. And it's no problem with that. Hispanics is living with blacks. Asians, live, they always that. You all want to put your businesses down there. So now you may have to live down there. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, the, the, that's justice from the Lord. Yeah. Thus says the most high. All right, with that being said, it's your man, Nico B. Black Effect. I'm good, so...